Why is she in the middle of the road? Providence Oaks, good morning to you. Theo, positive or that's key. Today's contribution is from Matt Kearney. I have a positive. Last night's thunderstorm over the lake, quite a spectacle. I'm glad my barn's still standing, but thanks for calling in, Matt. Let's see what the weather will bring today. We're starting the day with showers, but the sun might come back in the end. Enjoy the music. I don't know when I'm supposed to give that camera back to that woman. I just have it. Oh my god, I almost hit you. Oh, and you disappeared. I didn't bring the package. Uh uh, go around, go around. Uh uh. Hi again. Ah, there's the mail. How's the photography coming along? Really dandy, really good. Okay, I guess. I've been using the camera for a bit. If you can take pictures for me like you said you would, I can get this practice in. I'll get it done. Don't worry. Do I have to use okay. all of the film? Please take some pictures film? and return it today. <laughs> today? Are you gonna take like 13 pictures of you then? Just take pictures of random things. Gotcha. On camera. Smile. You're on camera. Okay, I have six more pictures. The mini lab. See ya. Angie. It's me, Meredith. <gasps> What's this? Oh the my god. The shack has closed down and will not reopen. Any unreturned tapes can be dropped off before September 22nd. It has been a privilege to serve as Providence Oaks' premier home cinema provider. Thank you for your patronage. All the best. Your Flick Shack proprietor, Angie. Oh no. Angie? Oh my god. What have I done? Y'all voted on the poll. And as of right now, when I'm recording, Angie is in the lead. She's 70% and Robert is 30%. So, if I can't salvage this, then uh, I'm gonna cry. That's so sad. She was kind of depending on me to do the movie thing. If I would have stuck with the movie thing, would she still have closed down? How many different endings are there? Or is there just one? She dies. <laughs> That's everyone's ending. Alright, I'll leave it on the doorstep. I hope you um, stop breathing in your sleep. Wait, today's Wednesday. That means it's the day we go smoke. Have a smoke sesh. Yes. I don't want to hang out with Mickey. I don't hang out with June. I better be getting my blueberry pie soon. Hi, Maureen. P.O. people. I need to pause Hello? The music for a second. <gasps> oh. Gosh, darling. I want to oh. hear this. And so do you. It's from our own Robert Harris. Um, what I was there when he Robert recorded it. It's okay. I gave him tips. He's talking about the trees. He Take speaks away, for the Robert. trees. He's a Lorax. People of Providence. Oak. Yes. I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give him a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Isn't that something? <laughs> it could have been more juicy, oh, I guess. Okay. <laughs> it does say exactly what he wants it to. Which is rare for our Robert. You're roasting me, but you just don't know it. Redeeming qualities, doesn't he just? He's my man, not idea, Meredith's, but mine. I helped, like I'm taking the credit. Actually, I helped out a bit when he was recording it at Jack's studio. Is that right? Sorry, I'm a taken woman. Taken by my stalker Angie. Now, Maureen, don't Maureen this out of proportion. I see. Robert wasn't kidding when he said uh, he wants to keep pretty things around in Providence Oaks now, <laughs> was he? <gasps> oh my god. No, he just asked me to help him keep it pretty. Well, that's what I heard. Anyway, I actually wanted to talk to you about something else. What are you doing this Sunday evening, hon? Something tells me I'm about to find out. You know it. Listen here. I'm hosting a very <gasps> special first time open mic night. I'm gonna this sing. We'll have some drinks, some food, discover the town's hidden talent or not. If you know what I mean, it'll be a hoot. Oh, I feel a cold coming on. <coughs> I do.
do hope you are not mocking my open mic night idea, Miss Wise. Or my food. That's settled um. then. I will see you this Sunday at 8 p.m. And tell everyone you meet, okay? Let me see you put those postal delivery muscles to good use. Why do I have the feeling I don't have a choice here? There you go. You're catching up. <laughs> now I have to go unpack some deliveries out back. But I will see you soon, darling. And don't forget about the open mic. I couldn't if I wanted to. There better be blueberry pie there. Or I'm leaving town and never returning. I wonder if Andy's here. Who put that fence there? I wonder if Andy lives in the woods, if he's like Bigfoot or something. This is awkward. He's sitting outside. Hello. Mail carrier Meredith. Farmer Jack. Farmer Jack. Good oh. to see at least someone's working today. As opposed to you? <laughs> yep. Can't harvest taters with all this rain. Luckily, Rag's keeping me busy. You spoke to him? You spoke to him. Yeah, just talked to him on the phone. He's mad as a wet hen. It's quite entertaining, actually. Thanks for dropping by, mail carrier Meredith. I gotta get back to it. Isn't it well past harvesting season? True enough, but uh, something else is keeping me occupied. And what's that? I want to know. Is it weed? <laughs> and what's that? Can't DJ? say, mail carrier Meredith. Can't say. <gasps> Have a good one. It is. Hold on. Jack gave me an envelope to give to Frank, and Frank gave me an envelope to give to June and Mickey, and June and Mickey smoke weed. <laughs> I, I think I'm remembering that right. I'm not sure, but he could very much well be grown weed. So good for you, babes. Make that money. I'm going to hit Andy with my truck if I see him again. Oh, no. <laughs> God, I hate when this happens. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's me. Who? Eh, eh. Oh my god. Oh, hi, Dad. What's up? The sun is up. The sky is blue. Life's good here. Is that a song? That's great to hear. Yeah, we're so happy we finally took the trip. Why haven't you told her yet? Let me talk to her. Well, excuse me, Mrs. Weiss. Meredith, sorry to break it up. Your mom wants to talk to you. Meredith, I'm so excited. Your dad and I found this cottage this weekend near the beach. It's so pretty. Not too big, but who wants to be inside anyway? Uh, me? I like to be inside. I know, honey, but hear me out. We talk to the owner. We can rent it for the time being, spend the winter here. And if um, we, it, we can buy it and settle down here for good. Uh-uh. Wow, that's quite a big step. Life-changing and all that. Isn't it something? And uh, it means that our house will be vacant for a while. We won't put it on the market until we've tried out Florida for a few months. So, um, if you want to extend oh my God. your stay in Providence Oaks... <laughs> no. <laughs> huh. No thanks. I need to get back to my normal life soon. Well, just thought I'd mention it. But uh, it's a pretty big deal, so just think about it for now. Hmm? Can I talk to her for a sec again? Yeah, uh, here comes your dad again. Bye, dear. I'm going to get us something bubbly. Hey, Meredith, just wanted to say that I'll call again at the end of this week. Have a great one. Okay. Bye, Dad. I'm gonna go smoke some pot. <laughs> Memories. 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 Leave. Can I have a go? Their <laughs> faces. Oh, Mickey. That was so deep. Oh, you're lying. Right, Meredith? Oh, yeah. Awesome. It's in the darkness when my soul stars align <laughs> and illuminate the real me. Oh, baby, I'm so happy for you. We, we need to celebrate this moment. I'll be right back, ladies. Mickey can be difficult. Sometimes, <laughs> but nights like these, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but with him. How did you two meet? How did you two meet? At a dorm party. He was the cool guy who dropped out of college, and I was about to do the same. Is she interrogating you again, June? Oh, Mickey, be nice to sweet Meredith. <laughs> I'm just kidding now. 
Uh, sorry for being a hard ass the other day, Meredith. It's just that we need to be a bit cautious. Cautious? Of what? The man, of course. Always the fucking man. Oh, he said the F word. The man, what man? The man? What man? The man, you know, in general. Anything um... with authority, in whatever shape or form it appears. I think I know what you mean. Feeling like a prisoner of society. Hey, guys. Let's not spoil this evening with heavy stuff, okay? Ah, you're so right, Junebug. Who cares about the man when I've got you? There's something that'll make you feel lighter. Much lighter. Pass it around. Pass it around. <laughs> Meredith. <laughs> yes. Sure. Sure. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, okay. Meredith. <laughs> okay, June. How about some booze? <laughs> um, crossfaded. Um, yes, I'm living it up here. Sure. What do you My have? parents are in Beer, Florida. Wine and whiskey. Oh, um, whiskey. Whiskey. Why not? Gotcha. Be right back. <laughs> oh, this is awkward. Oh, just got more awkward. Memory. Stop. Do you have another song? Okay. Memories of you <laughs> and me. <laughs> me. <laughs> Alrighty, here you go. Why is she holding it like that? Ah, <laughs> uh, this is the life. So, are you guys on the run? <laughs> this oh. is the life. <laughs> This is the life. It sure is. <laughs> it will be even better once we're finally in Canada. How are you guys going to cross the border? It's so exciting. Damien will pick us up with his Jeep tomorrow morning. We'll have a cozy hour under the blankets when we cross the border. And then we're good. Hey, I just realized we're abandoning the RV. You should totally have it. Oh my Mickey, God. can Meredith have the RV? What piece of junk? <laughs> Knock yourself out. It's cute. I'm taking it. Really, guys? That's awesome. <gasps> no Wait, problem. No. We don't really believe in possessions anyway. Whatever you decide, we'll leave it at the gas station. That's where we rendezvous with Damien. Wow. What? Wow. Memories, memories, memories. Ooh. Hi, Mr. Man. Forgot your name. Why are you the turning his Hello? System. I can't find anything around here. <laughs> he turned his whole body. That was scary. Never do that again. Ever. I have a job to do. So do you. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna take a picture of him. Ooh, the camera. Wasn't I supposed to give it to her yesterday? Hello. Ooh, it's a cute picture. Mm -mm, what was that? Looks like there's a diamond in your body. Oops, I didn't mean to take <laughs> only one left. Okay. Hi. Oh, hello. How's the photography coming along? I think I used all my pictures. My photography quest has been completed. Here's your equipment back. Okay, then. Let me see if I can manage to develop them. Come back tomorrow for the results. Thank tomorrow. you. Tomorrow. Bye. <gasps> it's Jesus. Why are they stopped again? What's happening? I wasn't in the road. That's not a cop in there. That's not a cop. <laughs> no, lady. Ma'am, did you steal this car? She's a little lost and confused. I'm calling the police. It's actually her. I guess she's out of uniform. She better retire soon. She's gonna break a damn hip. <gasps> Jesus, do you live here? <gasps> That's his house. Jesus lives there. I'm so glad that she had the option to smoke. Because she needed to lighten up a bit and have fun in this town. Where does Angie live? Because I feel bad. Like, am I not gonna have a chance to reconcile? That's lighter than I thought. It's a wig. Mm-mm. Because why is she waiting out here? Oh dear, you're a sight for sore eyes. Oh hi, Miss J- 
Mildred? How so? <laughs> Are you expecting more mail from your son? It's just this week. It's all a bit much for me. I need to get my hair done for Sunday's special evening. But I can't leave my cats alone. And then all of a sudden, Frank has gone missing. He still needs to bring me an envelope. Please tell me that you have it with you. Is it your weed, bitch? I'm afraid this is just a postcard. Mildred, are you gambling? Yeah. Mildred, are you gambling? Oh, don't be a nosy posy, Meredith. Shh. Dear, oh dear. He can't just have vanished into thin air, can he? I wish I could tell you where he is, because I honestly don't know. Uh, I really don't like mildew. I wish I could tell you where he is. Oh, Frankie boy. Always making me worry too much. And I need to cancel the hairdresser's appointment. But what if I can't reschedule? I can look after your cats for you, okay? Like, don't worry. Perhaps <laughs> I could look after your cats. Would you, my dear? It's tomorrow evening. That Are they just outside all day? For me. And the cats. Tomorrow night? Wait, what's tomorrow night? What plans do I have? I don't know. I don't know if I have sure. any. No trouble at all. Oh, thank you so much, dear. Just show up at seven and eat as many cookies as you like. Okay, I'll eat all of them. Are they gone? Are Mickey and June gone? That's lighter than I thought. It's another wig. Meredith! Look at this house on wheels. I have no idea where it came from, but it's absolutely rad. It's mine, actually. Mickey and June gave it to me. You know, that young couple down by the lake campground. Whoa, really? That's so tight. Here, they left this note on the driver's seat. Oh, let me read it. Life's a journey and not a destination. Just grab the wheel and enjoy the ride. Love, M and J. So, what are you going to do with it? You have to hit the road. <gasps> Just give it... Oh, no. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, so... I actually don't really want it, after all. Maybe you'd like to have it. You know, keep it here and tinker on it? Oh, yes! That'd be amazing. You know I love tinkering. But it's <laughs> going to need a lot of work. Tinkerbell! Good to hear, Lori. I can already hear the cogs in your head spinning at top speed. What are your plans? Well, if it's going to be here a while... I should give it a name first. Can't have such a beautiful vehicle and not give it a name. How about the Sea Turtle? Big, slow, washed up, just like a turtle. Or the Raccoon. Because it's got brown spots and is full of trash. <laughs> or... The Hermit Shell. It had many owners over the years, just like the shell of a hermit crab. I like... The Raccoon. The Raccoon. Good choice. I'll get working on it right away. See you later. Bye. Can't believe I got to name it. If I had a camper, I would fix it up to look like a 70s camper. I haven't seen Angie. I'm a little worried. But she said that she wants to have her full attention on what I'm going to decide to do. What Meredith is going to decide to do. Like, where to go? If she's staying here. I don't like back here. Why isn't there a road? Gravel, at least. They really have me fighting for my life out here. Hello? <gasps> I hear a typewriter. <gasps> a new person! Uh, yes, yes, yes. He could only look on and share Is it Andy? He was madeline through the key straight into the lake. Oh, yes. Ew. This is good What's stuff. happening? Uh, excuse me, sir? Oh, for Christ's sakes, go away. If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. <laughs> you haven't told me anything, Mielch. You haven't told me anything. I'm, I'm new here. Oh, bloody heck. Do I sound like I care? You lot are all I don't the think same. it's Andy. Just go away. Okay, I'm going to burn your house down. Backwater town. Do they realize people come out to these kinds of places because they're supposed to be remote and quiet? Sir, if you don't want to be disturbed, don't mail order anything? <sighs> I... I do beg your pardon. I... yes, I am expecting a package. I didn't know you were from the postal service, ma'am. I'm gonna call him out. You didn't know anything about me before you started shouting, and yet... 
You did it anyway. All right, all right. I'm sorry. It's just... I've been under a lot of pressure lately from my publisher, <laughs> as well as my wife. I do appreciate your driving all the way up here. Mm -hmm. Lord knows I'll be needing those ribbons. Just ribbons. please leave them on the porch and uh, thank you. Now, was that so hard? Whatever else they would be. Sir. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Now, where was I? She threw the key in the lake. Then what happens? Oh, Christ's sake, she made me lose my bloody train of thought. I can no, hear you, Bibes. I got it. And then he says... Okay, 139 Raven Way. I'm never coming back here again. And I'm telling Frank. Good afternoon, Miss Weiss. Stop jump scaring me. Bikes, you creep. Oh my god. <laughs> I want to. Yikes, you creep! Oh my god. Uh, you keep giving me jump scares. What? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Slip of the tongue. Good afternoon. I wanted to let you know that today was my last day here. Okay, bye. Oh, really? Will Frank be coming back then? That's all I have to say. Good luck. Bruh! Give me something. Good riddance. Who is it? Hello? Hi, no. It's me, okay, Kay. I thought it was Steve. Oh, hi, Kay. Good, you're home. Listen, I don't know if you're busy tonight, and I wouldn't normally bother you like this, but I'm kind of in a huge pickle at the moment, and now I'm imagining being inside of a huge pickle. Thanks, brain. <laughs> sure, what's up? Okay, so this is going to sound like I'm 16, but I have these tickets to a really big concert tonight for Barry and me, and it seems the babysitter has just bailed on me. All right, so maybe the babysitter oh. doesn't sound like I'm 16, I hope. <laughs> anyway, it's Journey, so I'm like, I Journey. Go and I got these tickets ages ago. And it's a long drive to Portland, so we'll probably be out all night. And I promise you, I've called everyone and their brother. Besides, they're really good kids to watch tonight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I get a shortcut to the question? Can you not oh, add it up, babes? Yeah, sorry. You're totally right. I'm blabbering on R and I. Okay, don't freak out. You got this. All right, recap. Journey tonight in Portland. Got tickets. Sitter bailed. So I guess you figured out by now that I'm awkwardly trying to ask if maybe you could do me a huge favor and watch Grace and Max tonight. I'll babysit. Hey, I want to see them. It's fine. Don't worry. I'll babysit tonight. Oh my God. You serious? That would help me out in such a big way. And I would owe you big time. Huge. No problem. So what time do you need me? You're a lifesaver. As soon as you can make it. You don't have to bring anything. There's food, videos, even a cardboard replica of Apollo 11 with a set of matching helmets. You're covered. See you in a bit. All right. See ya. This will be interesting. All right. Who wants s'mores? <laughs> Oh, okay. Hey, hey, hey. guess who's Frank! back? Frank! I didn't expect you here. I'm so happy to be here again. I guess Morgan didn't stick around to welcome me back. Good riddance. I said that. I said those words. Good riddance. Hell yeah, that clueless piece of work. What happened the last few days? Well, what can I say? Don't mess with the big boys. I guess they didn't understand that some of my customers do a little more than talking about their cats. Are they criminals? Are they criminals? No, no, nothing that bad. Frank Coleman's no stranger to the high stakes game. I've got okay. lawyers in my inner circle. <laughs> all it took were a couple of lawsuit threats. But Frank, isn't this all just really wrong? Nah, Meredith, it's just a bit of harmless fun. Okay, Frank, if you say so. All right, time to get back in the saddle. Have a great day, Meredith. Frank needs help. <laughs> a very good morning, Providence Oaks. Pio positive or pet peeves? I wonder what it'll be today. Actually, no. Nancy, the floor is yours. Yeah, Jack, I've got a pet peeve. Why do people start fake coughing when I'm smoking in my store? <laughs> if you don't like it, just leave. Thank you much, Nancy. And, well, if you're asking... Oh my god. Nancy. They're actually dying? And <laughs> she's like, stop fake coughing. Ma'am, I'm actually allergic to smoke.
Driving along the highway. Help me. Hello? Friday delivery day. Well, just call me Friday Delivery K. Okay, no, that sounded better in my head. Someone's in a good mood today. Yes, thanks for looking after Max and Gracie last night. You were a real trooper for stepping in last minute. Are they okay? Did they mention that anything? Sus. Max did say I owe him pancake breakfast for the rest of the week, and Grace said she will never sleep again. Oh. But yeah, pretty much. What movie did you watch with them anyway? <laughs> so... How was the concert? <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, Journey is so good. Those songs have been stuck in my head all day. Eh, that sounds great. I know, right? There's just so much cool stuff being created right now, you know? I mean, Journey was cool. I got to know them through Barry at first, but I tell you, if Prince or New Order ever came to Portland, I would sell my spleen for tickets. Still into music, huh? Oh, and I haven't even mentioned Cyndi Lauper or Run DMC. Or Stevie Wonder. And before you go there, I know you're probably setting up a joke about spleens and ham and organs right now. Joke's on you, because I don't even know what that means. You know, music organ, body organ. Never mind. All jokes aside, though, I spent half the concert thinking about how I haven't really focused on my own music for a while now. Kids, work, all that stuff. So much going on. Not that I mean, jazz. I love tinkering, but right now, I'm not sure I'm even creating anything cool or just, you know, not even Barry is allowed to listen to my songs at this stage, to be honest. I'd love to hear your music sometime. I'm sure it's great. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Maybe I'll hold you to that. I was thinking, I have a mixtape with some of my stuff, you know? Just something I've been trying out with my new synthesizer. And you want me to listen to it? Maybe? And hey, with my ears? tell me what you think yet, yeah? You'll be my secret special audience of one. So I can get used to the idea of an audience. Would this have anything to do with Sunday evening? Okay, don't tell anyone, but I'm thinking of performing a song on my new synth this Sunday. Holy okay. crap, I just said that out loud. Dude, you are coming to the open mic, right? Um, I'll sneak in and maybe perhaps stand in a corner and look around with my eyeballs and listen with my ears. So, yeah. <laughs> of course. That's great. Wild horses couldn't drag me away. But act cool, yeah? No one else knows yet. See you there. Sure thing. Back to my own journey for now. <laughs> uh -huh. nope, ignoring that. Bye now. Oh, my God. Whoa. That took me a while to think of. Oh, my God. Robert. Meredith. <laughs> Hi, Robert. Hey, Robert. How are you? I was away for a few days on an urgent job out of state. I'm good. It's nice to see you again. Here's the mail. Thanks. And likewise. Hmm. Priority mail from Town Hall. Let's see what they have <gasps> oh to say gosh. this time. Dear Mr. Harris, on behalf of yada yada, yada, yada. yada. concerning Environmental Management Act 1213, yada yada yada. Uh, wait. What? <laughs> Listen to this. We have decided to postpone the construction of apartments for at least six, six months. months. We hope this satisfies you as well as the many residents of Providence Oaks that contacted us with their unfiltered and enthusiastic comments. It worked. The plan for six worked. Months. Wow, great. So happy for you, Robert. We need to celebrate this. Oh, God. Uh, how about tomorrow night? Steak dinner at most. Oh, or no. Something else on me. <sighs> yeah i'll go you know i'll go i can't turn it down i helped them i deserve that oh, i'd love that great it's gonna be fun see you tomorrow night then gotta go now the telephone oh, wait, troops tomorrow need night? to know the assault can be abandoned i watch the cats tomorrow <gasps> oh i watched the cats today what's what what day is it what time is it where am i week 37 Dinner date with Robert? It's not a date! Oh my god, I want it to be for me, personally, not Meredith. I don't think Meredith vibes with Robert as much as she was vibing with Angie. And, like, I agree with the poll. I think she should date Angie, but I don't know where Angie is. Um. What is he doing to that fish? Ew! Hello? Ah, the wax worms have arrived. You're in your table, sir. Excuse me? 
<laughs> I meant the package, Miss Weiss. It's my worms. I knew it was bait. They're just in time. I'm taking a boat to the island this afternoon. The island? Oh, nice. A boat trip. Hey, you can tag along if you want, like <laughs> your father used to. But I'm not helping you with any wax worms. Tonight? I don't think I can. But I kind of want to fish. That sounds so fun. Oh, really? Sounds like fun. Okay, we'll show up here at 4 p.m. sharp. 4 p.m. sharp. Okay, cat sitting is at 7, so... Oh, it's about... Unless we take forever to get back, I think we should be good. I just want to do everything the game offers. Unless I don't want to. <laughs> but fishing sounds fun. And it shouldn't interfere with the cat sitting. Who gets their hair done at 7 p.m.? That code for something? Gambling? Pretty... Are we gonna sink? Are we gonna so, die? So, is this a quiet day, or does it always take this long? Fishing requires <laughs> patience. We've only been here for two hours. Uh. <laughs> and that's the nice thing about fishing. Yeah, there's a fine line between boredom and relaxation. I find it hard to relax sometimes. Fishing also requires silence. Dang. Freedom of speech? Bert, can I ask <laughs> oh you my a question? God. <laughs> Do you like Maureen? Where'd that come from? Do you like Maureen? <sighs> we ought to be heading back <laughs> home. It's oh. been a fine day, and I thank you for the company. This is so awkward. <laughs> K's take. Let's have a listen. Driving along the highway. Headlights light I would never let anyone listen to me. Hello? Hi, Meredith. Guess what I signed today? The contracts for the Added 87 deal? Oh, yes. You are now talking to Steve Mitchell, CEO of a multi-million dollar enterprise. But before I continue my insufferable bragging, I have a thing or two to say to you oh. about you. Oh. You've been a huge part of the success of this company. And, and you're fired. this is just the beginning. We're entering the golden age of personal computers, and we've got front row tickets. The past two weeks have made me realize that I couldn't have done it without you. And I'm going to need you even more in the coming years. So, here's a new monster deal I want you to think about. Become a partner in the company for 20% of the shares and a significant pay raise. Sig-ni-vi-kent. The only condition is that I need your commitment for the next five years. So, there it Dang. is. Think about it, and let's talk about it more when you're back in the office. This is a bit of a surprise. Just let it sink in a bit. I don't need an answer right now. I have to get back to my uh, million-dollar lifestyle. Actually, no, I, I need to get cranking on lots of stuff. Talk soon, Meredith. Good I evening, want to be a line so Meredith's gonna keep you company tonight. Come here. Huh? Kitty, kitty. Ow. Uh uh. Saturday. A postcard from Angie. Angie. Yes, <gasps> Meredith. I am so so sorry. I haven't been able to see you. It's just that I've been swamped organizing my not so timely exit from Providence Oaks. I'm sure you understand. You've probably seen the foreclosure notice. That certainly helped expedite my decision to leave. Anyway, I find myself thinking about everything we did and talked about. I'm a little flustered, and I don't fluster easily. So, feel special, Meredith. I hear you're going to the open mic night on Sunday. I wasn't planning on going, but I want to see you before I leave. I'm really anxious to find out what you've decided to do. Oh God, Whether you're no. going to stay in this town, or go back to the city, or do something else entirely. 
And I'm going to be forward, as you know I always am. <laughs> I'd like to know if little old me figures into those plans somehow. I know what. So, <laughs> anyway, I'll see you there, yeah? Love, Angie. Where is she that she sent a freaking postcard? Oh my god, I don't want to end on a cliffhanger, but I... I'm gonna end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next part. I think it's gonna be pretty wild. I'm gonna have to make a big decision, I think. But I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. I'm scared. I'm terrified. Oh, Meredith looked me in the eyes. Okay. Meredith, you... You know what to do. I don't. Bye! <laughs>